The banyan tree is a tree that's native to India. They they started growing there before anywhere else in the world. It is unusual because it has so many trunks. A single banyan tree may cover an area nearly 1,500 feet in circumference and have 3,000 trunk-like roots. If a bird or other animal were to deposit a banyan seed on another tree, the seedling would send its tentacles down to earth and eventually create a network of roots that would take over and destroy the host tree. To the right is the photo showing the early stages of a host tree being kind of strangled by a banyan tree. A banyan tree is sacred to the Hindus. Its name banyan means trader because markets are held under its large branches creating shade in India, it's a very warm climate, and that's a nice uh, place to have markets. Here's one example of a banyan tree. You can see all of those trunk-like tentacles that grow down into the ground and how large of an area they take up. Here is another example up close. And here is another example from far away. You can see how large that area is. Another example, a different shape where the trunk-like roots are in the center and the branches are coming out very far. Similar one. We're gonna be creating our own banyan tree artwork. To begin your banyan tree drawing, you want to hold your paper horizontally and draw either a ground line or a water line. It could be water or ground. Then I'm going to draw the sides of the trunk of my tree and the bottom bigger branches with drawing wavy lines out to the side from the bottom. This may be a good place to pause and draw these steps. To add the branches, we're going to use the letter V. So we're just going to draw some V's, but not with straight lines like this V that I drew. You're going to make the lines wavy. Coming in from the side of the paper, I'm going to draw a V. So the line should go all the way back to the edge. This may be a good place to pause. Now I'm going to add a few more. Thinking about the space, what's a branch and what's a space in between the branches. More wavy line V's. And this will be a good place to pause. I'm going to continue adding those V's until the space is filled with branches. Would be a good place to pause and make sure that you're caught up with all of the V's. All right, once you have everything drawn, we're going to trace with a black sharpie. Go over all of your pencil lines and then we will fill them in. At this point, I'm going to add some little holes at the bottom. This may be a good place to pause to catch up. Once you have your tree outlined, it is time to color in the branches with the black Sharpie. Now that it's completely covered in, colored in, I'm going to add some smaller branches to add some more detail, make it look more like a banyan tree.
Remember that banyan tree's roots also grow down into the ground, so don't forget some that are going down into that water or land line that you drew first. Now that my banyan tree has all its branches, I'm going to begin using crayons to color. I'm going to start by coloring either the land or the water. I'm going to make mine water. So I'm starting with the blue. Whatever color you want. I mean, water does not have to be blue. You choose. All right, now I'm going to begin coloring the sky around my banyan tree, and I want to make this really colorful. So I'm just doing little patches of different color, and they can overlap in places, blend together to create other colors, until you have all of these white spaces, the negative space, filled. And there is my completed banyan tree. Enjoy.